Hello everyone, Sonia from Sonia's Quilts and Embroidery. Hope you're having a great day. And I just wanted to do a short video on the Santa bags. After they've spent an hour on the machine, on the embroidery machine, and we personalize them, they look like this. A long strip of fabric. And in the past, we have just made up just a whole lot of them, like a hundred of them. And then we would wait till we got like a hundred of them done. And then we would go through them, try to figure out who's got, who got what name. And there would be two or, diff two or three different spellings of each name. So this year I decided to do it differently. To keep down the confusion, I decided to do them by orders. Once I get an order done, finish it, once I get an order done off the embroidery machine, finish, uh, get the bags made, get the uh, ribbons run through the casing, and then package them up with the name and address. I don't ship them all, I don't ship them one at a time. I let them accumulate till I get, till I'm ready to go to the post office for something else, and then I'll carry a bag of them already ready to go out in the mail. But this is how I do them, I just fold them in half. And just ran out. It did. Thankfully, this, this machine loads my bobbin as I'm sewing. Okay, let's try that again. Sometimes the bobbin has to be adjusted a little bit. And let's check our work. Turn it right side out. Make sure that we've caught the sides really good. Now we're turning it under, under about an inch, inch and a half. And we sew it all the way around. And then I take the bag, and on the left side of the bag, I go to the seam, and I clip away a couple. I used to leave a little hole in the casing back here to run my string through, but the problem with that is your ribbon wants to go to the inside when you do that, of course. So um, I have changed to open up this, because it's already turned under. It's a nice, neat, turned under seam. And so I just I just think this looks better and it works better. We take the lighter. We're gonna melt the ends of the ribbon a little bit. Get rid of any raveling, fraying. And then run our pin in, our safety pin through. Takes just a couple of seconds to do this part. And there we have it. One Santa bag ready for a little boy, Ford. 
to open this Christmas. Now a lot of grandparents, a lot of grandparents order these for all their grandchildren. I think I had a grandmother one time ordered like 12 of them, like 13. And whenever the grandkids come over and they open up their gift and take it out, it, it, this is kind of the same principle as a stocking. And then they open them up and then the grandmother goes around and collects all of her bags and puts them away for the next year. So these are not disposable. These are reusable year after year after year to create a memory for your grandchild or your child or um, a surprise for someone uh, that you want to remain anonymous and just give it to them and see what I have had people do that before a bomb and leave them on their desk so that, you know, they find them when they get to work. But anyway... Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the Santa bags. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that when I post a new video, you will get a notification let me know that there's a new video up. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. You can also join me on my Facebook page called Sonia's Quilts and Embroidery. Um, and I show my quilts a lot of my, my all of my quilts are shown on there um simply because i just i don't advertise on youtube my, my quilt making now i do i am i will do after i get some things worked out some technical difficulties work out be making some quilts uh tutorial tutorials but i'm just not ready to do that just yet thank y'all so so much for watching and have a great day bye bye